In our second module of biology of class 9th, we are going to learn a new chapter that is uh, the fundamental unit of life, cell. This is the chapter which basically deals with the biology, the first basic thing that is the cell. The what is the human or animal or any organisms on the earth made up of. So please prepare it and listen all the slides or look all the slides clearly for understanding. Welcome to you all in my next module that is the fundamental end of life in the biology. In this chapter we are basically going to study the main basic function of cell, who discovered the cell and what did the cell was discovered and what are the mainly basic functions of the cell which cell perform and what are the different parts of the cell, what are the cell components that is a cell organelles which are used to provide the basic functions and needs in the cell. Okay? Here we are basically going uh, through the cell introduction. Then after the scientists to give their theories and laws and they are given the main important laws by the scientist Robert Leeuwenhoek. Then after that we will uh, go through the topic uh, of the scientist named Robert Brown. After that the Purkinje scientist. After that the cell theory which was proposed by the Rob Sishin and Swan in 1838 and 1839 respectively. After that we will go through the Rodolf Virko in 1855, he also gave a cell theory which was inclu included in data that is the cell, uh, cell was uh, arises from pre-existing cells, okay. Here after that we are basically seeing the all uh, human cells and after that the cell is made up of how many type of organization, what is the main basic uh, development of the cell that is plasma membrane or cell membrane. After that, we are going to study the main three medium that is hypotonic, isotonic and hypertonic. After that, we are going to go through the cell wall topic, then nucleus. Then all the studying all these topics, then after that, we will come to cytoplasm. And after the cytoplasm, we are going to hereby listen in this time the cell organ list. The cell organ list is the main part here. So basically, you prepare the topic cell organ list and learn each and every organ, organelles with their five main points each with their diagram if diagram is given in NCRT or it, it is told by your teacher okay thank you very much robert hook discovery while examining a thin slice of cork robert hook saw that resemble the structure of a honeycomb consisting of many little compartment cork is a substance which comes from bark of a tree this was in year 1665 The Robert Hooke made his chance observation through a self-designed microscope. Robert Hooke called this box a shell. Shell is a Latin word for a little room. But Hooke's discovery is not much successful because he discovered the dead cell. Here is the image depict the Robert Hooke and the microscope made by him. Leeuwenhoek discovery of cell. In 1674, Leeuwenhoek discovered the free living cell in pond water with improved microscope. He also discovered many cells such as sperm cells and WBCs etc. The following image depicts the Lewinhoff and the microscope made by him and the, which was uh, useful in the observation of the cell during his time. The following reference image also given which cells are discovered by Anton Lewinhoff. Robert Brown discovery of nucleus. Robert Brown was a Scottish botanist and a paleontobotanist that discovered the nucleus in 1831. Robert Brown named the nucleus and it as stick till now. Robert Brown made other discoveries such as identification of the naked ovule of the gymnosperm plants. Here gymnosperm is basically the plants which we are not uh, flowering. It uh, includes cycas, pinus, etc. vegetation. You will be basically learning about it in high amount in the next chapter that is diversity of living organisms in plant kingdom. The next point, Robert Brown discovered the nucleus while he was studying the epidermis of the orchids under the microscope. Here the image of preference that uh, depicts the Robert Brown and the microscope uh, which was made by Robert Brown, which was used by himself to uh, study the epidermis of orchid. Our next topic is Purkinje naming for cell. First point, Purkinje in 1839 coined the term chloroplast for a fluid substance of the cell he also proposed many theories for the cell. Here is the basically diagram which depicts the Purkinje scientist who also got a valuable name in the history of cell for his discovery and also for his botanist knowledge. 
The cell theory was proposed by Theodore Schwann and Matthias Stoker in 1839 and 1838 respectively. These are the two scientists who are giving the valuable name in the history of biology for naming for the cell theory. Schwann and Schwann theory about cell. Theodore Schwann in 1839 and Matthias Stoker in 1838 proposed the cell theory which was following. All living organisms are composed of one or more cells. The cell is the most basic unit of life. Schrodinger's theory of free uh, cell formation was rejected by the Robert Remark and Rudolf Virchow and Albert Kolika in year 1855. In year 1855, Rudolf Virchow added the third uh, tenant to the cell theory. In Latin, this tenant uh, states omnicellula, e cellula. This is translated to Hindi uh, the Hindi and English. That is, uh, all cells arise only from the pre existing cells. The following points are uh, mentioned are very important for studying purpose as this may be asked for the examination point of your view please prepare it and study it if you are getting any problem regarding this contact me this is the image of Rodolfo Virco who was given uh, in 1855 a new law that all cells arise from pre-existing cells which means cell need a reproduction stage from beginning to reproduce a new cell in a new generation after all the discoveries till 1940, it is possible to observe and understand the complex structure of the cell and its various parts and organelles. So scientists took a great advancement in the knowledge of science and developed new microscopes that is electron microscope and or compound microscope to study the cell into its deep knowledge and provide a deep reference view of a cell how the cell work, how the cell organelles work, how the cell perform all activities. Our next topic is difference between unicellular and multicellular. Unicellular. Yeah, uni means single. So unicellular means single cell organism. Multicellular. Multi means many. That is multicellular means multi cell organism. The examples of unicellular are amoeba, paramecium, chlamydomonas, and bacteria, etc. And examples of multicellular are that is uh, plantae kingdom means all plants included in this animal kingdom all the animals are included in this and the fungi kingdom means all the fungi kingdoms that is uh, fungus mushrooms uh, yeast all the animals all the plants are included in the multicellular organisms these are the two ways please learn it because this is also an important topic in biology some organisms can also have cell of different kinds the shapes and size of the cells are related to specific functions they perform. As amoeba have changing shape but nerves should have a typical shape. As amoeba need the food to store inside it with the help of pseudopodia which helps in the movement. So it need to be changed every time. But nerve cell has to travel the impulse from one position to another position by chemicals reaching to one part of the body to another part of the body. So uh, here the nerve cell is having typical shape and amoeba have a changing shape. This is also an important point. Please note it down. Do not uh, be hesitating to ask the questions regarding this. You can ask the question in the comment box. These are the following figures which are given in the NCRT figure 5.3 which represents or depicts various cells from the human body. The first one is smooth muscle cell. The second one is blood cell. Third one is nerve cell. Fourth one is fat cell. Fifth one is sperm or bone cell and sixth one is ovum. So learn it clearly, draw the diagram. Our next topic is what is cell made up of? What is the structural organization of a cell? As we know that cell has a special component called organelles and it will maintain the whole system inside the cell. A cell is made up of following parts. Plasma membrane, nucleus, cytoplasm. Some of it also given four types that is the next one is cell wall. But cell wall is only present in the plants, so we will not uh, write it here because these are the three basic structures found in all the cells. All activities inside the cell and interactions of all the cells with its environment are possible due to these features. Please learn it and ask the questions. Our next topic is plasma membrane. This is the outermost covering of the cell that separates the content of the cell from its external environment. 
This means that plasma membrane is the outermost covering of any part of the cell which protect any material to go inside the cell and outside the cell. And now, uh, means this thing we are going to see in our next point. The plasma membrane allow or permit the entry and exit of the some materials in and out of the cell. It also prevent movement of some materials therefore is called a selectively permeable membrane. In 1972, Singer and Nicholson proposed fluid mosaic model of plasma membrane. The following image depicts the plasma membrane which was proposed by Singer and Nicholson scientists. Our next topic is diffusion and osmosis. Diffusion. The spontaneous movement of the substance from a region of high concentration to region where it is the low concentration. Second point. Similar to this, it happens in the cell when concentration of carbon dioxide is high inside this compared to outside the environment of the cell, then carbon dioxide moves from inside of the cell towards the cell. The next point. It takes place in all states of matter means water, gases and solids, osmosis, water obvious laws of diffusion but it also helps in the osmosis. The movement of water molecule through such a selectively permeable membrane is called osmosis. The movement of water across the plasma membrane is also affected by amount of substance dissolved in it. It takes place in only water state. This means that osmosis could take place only if water is present in any amount in the following solution or the following place. These are the two points which must ask in the examination so prepare it as well and learn it. Our next point is hypotonic solution. If the medium surrounds the cell has a higher water concentration than the cell meaning that the outside solution is very dilute, the cell will gain water by osmosis here the cell likely to be swelled up. Here hypo means less. The following picture depicts the hypotonic solution. The first one depicts that the cell, all the things from the cell is coming out of the cell body. The next topic is isotonic solution. If the medium of cell having uh, the same water concentration as the cell, there will be no movement of water across the cell membrane. Uh, in this, uh, the cell will be in the same size. Here iso means equal. The following picture depicts uh, the isotonic solution in which the cell is having the awesome condition. The last figure depicts this. Thank you very much. Our next module is hypertonic solution. If the medium has lower concentration of water than the cell, meaning that it is a very concentrated solution, the cell will lose water by osmosis. It will uh, shrink. Higher hyper means more. As you can uh, see here, that uh, the figure uh, hypertonic, the first one, this is the main figure depicts with this. The next point is the plasma membrane is flexible is made up of organic molecules called lipid and proteins. The second point, the flexibility of cell membrane also enables the cells to engulf in food and other materials from its external environment. Such process is known as endocytosis. Your endocytosis uh, definition is very important, please learn it. Our next topic is cell wall. It is the rigid outer covering. It lies outside the plasma membrane. Plant cell wall is mainly composed of cellulose. Cellulose is complex substance and provides structure strength to plants. When a living plant cell loses water through osmosis, there is a shrinkage or contraction of contents away from the cell wall. This phenomena is called plasmolysis. Cell wall permits the cells of plants, fungi and bacteria to withstand very dilute external media without bursting. Here the cell wall figure depicted by the Baidus company uh, quotes uh, written here the green covering is known as here cell wall. Please learn the diagram of this and also learn the process of plasmolysis. Our next topic is nucleus. The nucleus is a double layered substance. Its covering is known as nuclear membrane. The nucleus contains its chromosomes which are visible as rod shaped structures only when the cell is about to divide. Chromosome contains information for inheritance of features from parents to next generation in the form of DNA. The DNA form is here deoxyribonucleic acid molecule. Chromosomes contains DNA and protein. Functional segments are called gene. Chromatin material is visible as entangled mass of thread-like structures. The last point is whenever the cell is about to divide, uh, the chromatin material gets organized into chromosomes. Here the figure depicts the nucleus which is having a outer membrane or inner membrane and the space between is known as peri uh, perinuclear uh, space and they also have a mini small nuclear pore which helps in the materials to exchange. It also attached with the ribosomes uh, to produce its own protein and the other materials. It have a DNA in the form of chromatin thread and other materials too. And the middle one, the blue 
uh, the, the large blue point depicts the nucleolus this is the most important part of the nucleus which control all the nucleus in difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell on the basis of having the nucleus prominent or deprominent the cell is divided into two types prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell prokaryotic cell size generally small nuclear region not well defined and not surrounded by nuclear membrane and known as a nucleoid the chromosome is single here the membrane bound cell organelles are absent eukaryotic cell uh, these are generally large that is 5 to 10 micrometer or micron meter the nucleus is uh, well defined and uh, surrounded by nuclear membrane here more than one chromosomes are found and the last point is membrane bound cell organelles are present and here is the important note that is the significance of the membrane can be understood by the viruses and virus lag membrane hence the do not show characteristic of life until they enter a living body and use it as a cell machinery to multiply in the next slide we are going to study the diagram of both the types of cells this is the both type of cells which depicts uh, the first diagram depicts the prokaryotic cell this is the figure of a uh, bacteria which having a flagellum to which used to help in the movement and the next one the diagram depicts the eukaryotic cell which having the prominent uh, type of nucleus and every type thing is well maintained and well defined in this diagram now we are going to start our next topic the cell organelle in which we are going to learn about all the basic cells which are used uh, in your class 9 syllabus and given in your class 9 syllabus which are very important prepare the notes by the given uh, lecture and all the things are given in the lecture only so please uh, do not ignore the lecture study the lecture well and clear all the doubts in the comment box our next topic is endoplasmic reticulum e that is uh, in the short known as er it is a large network of membrane bound tubes with the seeds it is of two type rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum it is so because it has the particles ribosomes attached to its surface and helps in the protein synthesis A smooth endoplasmic reticulum it helps in the manufacture of the fat molecules or lipid and important for the cell function some of these proteins and uh, lipids helps in building of the cell membrane this process is known as the membrane biogenesis the next point the last point is one function of er is to serve as the channels for the transport of materials especially proteins between the various origins of cytoplasm or between the cytoplasm and the nucleus the following picture depicts the endoplasmic reticulum in short known as er prepare the diagram as well the short note on topic endoplasmic reticulum mm -hmm. endoplasmic reticulum also functions as a cytoplasmic framework providing a surface for some of the biochemical activities of the cell A smooth endoplasmic reticulum plays a very important role in detoxifying many poisons and drugs in the liver of many vertebrate these are the two most important points which are asked from the examination and so learn it as the examinational uh, schedule our next topic is golgi apparatus the golgi apparatus first described by camillo golgi consisting of system of membrane bound vesicles arranged approximately parallel to each other in the stacks and cisterna The material synthesized near the ER is packed and dispersed to various targets inside the cell and outside the cell through the Golgi apparatus only. Its functions include the storage, modification, and packing of many protein in vesicles. The Golgi apparatus is also involved in the formation of lysosomes. The following picture depicts the, uh, the Golgi apparatus. Prepare the notes by studying this lecture. Our next topic is lysosome. Lysosomes are kind of waste disposal system of the cell. Lysosomes helps to keep the cell clean by digesting any foreign material as well as the worn out of the cell organelles. Lysosomes are able to do this because they contain powerful digestive enzymes capable of breaking down all inorganic materials. Sometimes the lysosomes may burst and enzymes digest their own cell therefore lysosomes are also known as suicide bag of cells. Lysosomes are single membrane bound cell filled with the digestive enzymes. These enzymes are made by RER that is uh, the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The following diagram depicts the lysosomes which is given the right hand side of the slide so prepare the notes and learn it by the following lecture our next topic is mitochondria mitochondria is also known as powerhouse of the cell mitochondria releases energy in the form of atp uh, in the full form adenosine triphosphate molecules atp is also known as currency of the cell mitochondria is a double layered mound organelle mitochondria have their own dna and ribosomes mitochondria are able to make their own proteins because they already have all the dna materials and ribosomes the ribosomes basically uh, made the protein inside the mitochondria 
here is the following image given of mitochondria so uh, the mitochondria is asked examination with the explain with the help of diagram so learn the diagram and prepare it as well plastids it is present only in plant cell there are only three mainly uh, types of plastids first one is chromoplast colored plastid leucoplast non color chloroplast green color plastids chloroplasts are important for photosynthesis leucoplasts are important for storage of starch oils and protein granules plastids also contain their own dna and ribosomes and this the following picture depicts the plastids here is the the last the bigger picture depicts the chloroplast so basically this uh, diagram is asked in examination with the help of explanation so prepare it as well and prepare all the other diagrams given in the previous slides basically all the slides are very important so read it clear by clear one by one our next topic is vacuoles vacuoles are storage sac for solid or liquid content vacuoles are small in animal cell while large in plant cell the central vacuole of some plant cell may occupy 50 to 90 percent of cell volume in plant cell vacuoles provide turgidity and rigidity to the cell vacuoles play an important role in transferring the material the following figure depicts the plant cell central vacuole which having the outermost covering as stonoplast the inner membrane filled with the sac uh, known as uh, the cell sap and the middle wire uh, there is the central vacuole the following figure of vacuole can be changed in every sort of plant cell so prepare it as well because this is also important point which is asked in the examination and this is also basically a requirement for the examination thank you for attending the class with me please prepare it as well the chapter is so important prepare it as soon as possible after looking the video and i will be too glad to see you again in my next class so be ready to attend the next class also i thank you very much to being giving a support to us work from home uh, be safe be secure